Hello, the youth. It's me, Jack, an older person, or as I like to think of it, one of your many betters. We have a lot of differences, you and I, and I'm sure that I and others like me must seem like aliens or like slower, crankier versions of you. Maybe it'd be better for you if we just quietly faded away into obscurity so that you don't even have to think of us while you're out there acting like you'll live forever. Would you like that? Well, this isn't about what you like. So just cram it and listen for a second, you entitled little jabronis. I'm here to address some of the more common old people-related complaints I've heard made by you, the <coughs> future. <laughs> High-waisted pants are the outfit of choice for old folks and Joaquin Phoenix in that one movie where he has sex with a phone. We hear you snickering, by the way, when we walk down the streets with our pants pulled roughly up to mid-nipple. You think we're doing it because we're not hip and we haven't updated our wardrobes to reflect modern times. Well, in what will likely prove to be a theme here, you're wrong. We don't wear high-waisted pants because that was the style when we were younger. It's because our bodies change as time goes on. Remember when you were younger and went through terrifying puberty? Well, your body's not done with you yet. One day your skin and gut and other parts are gonna go rogue and make a lot of changes, including, but not limited to, an increase in body fat up to 30% all around your abdomen. And when that happens, your options will be to wear clothes in a normal fashion, which would highlight all of those embarrassing changes, or to hike your pants up to the goddamn sky and say, eat me, nature, my waist is wherever I say it is because I served in a war, probably. <laughs> if you've ever been inside your grandparents' house and or pants pocket, you've probably come across some hard candy. It's the kind of candy that you, as a worthless youth who has never had to do literally anything meaningful with your bare hands, would never spend your money on because it doesn't have layers of nougat or sour crystal or ites or whatever the hell passes for candy in your world. This is the candy of our use, and it serves as a pleasant reminder of the past, when things were better, most likely because you weren't here yet. You probably look at our hard candy bowls and think we lack imagination, but that's just because you don't know anything about science. As you get older, your sense of smell and taste start to fade away and the subtleties of different tastes tend to get lost completely. As a result, the only tastes old people can truly identify are sour, salty, bitter, and sweet. We don't have room in our mouths for your fancy umami flavors or anything with a hint of rosemary or a whisper of lavender. Just the basics. Nature has limited the amount of things I can actually taste. So if I'm gonna have something sweet, you can bet your ass I'm gonna have the sweetest and most long-lasting candy I can get my mighty bare hands on. An old person sucking on a hard candy isn't an unimaginative codger who's given up on delicacies. It's a person whose taste options are limited. So he's gonna suck as much taste as he can. I'm gonna squeeze every last ounce of tasteable flavor out of this world. Do you hear me, sugar? You are not safe from me. What? You think we smell? Well, we think you smell. Go fu- <clears throat> Okay, fine. The smell, we can talk about it. You hang around old people and you pick up on a smell and you assume that at a certain age, old people just start to smell bad. Wrong. This isn't a natural smell. It's a result of hoarding. The older you get, the less you want to throw things away and let things go. So you hold on to literally everything. We hold on to everything and then these things start to accumulate smells as they age and it sort of rubs off on us. Antiques, newspapers, old clothes, photo albums, we're saving them all. You wouldn't know anything about this because all the garbage you hold on to is still new garbage. Even if you've been holding on to something your whole life, that makes it what, 18, 25 years old? Oh, <laughs> please. When you smell the collected scent of everything we've been hoarding for our entire lives, you're smelling your way through history. You're smelling wars, you're smelling the depression, the real one, the great one. Because back in our day, even the worst things were still great. <laughs> uh, 
This is the biggest stereotype young people believe about old people. You are young and happy, and we're old and miserable because the world has left us behind. Wah, wah, wah. Wrong again. You think we're mad because we don't like your attitude or your music, which is undeniably garbage? Please. We're mad because we're animals, but not just animals. The most not giving a fuckingest animals on the planet. You see, as you get old, your body starts to betray you and fall apart. Things sag, your memory, your vision, your hearing, they all start to go. It's like an attack. And what are your options when you get attacked? Fight or flight. Well, old timers, we reach a certain age where flight just gets tossed right out the window as an option. Seniors seem cranky all the time because we are in full-blown fight mode 24-7. I will fight absolutely anything that decides to trespass on the metaphorical lawn of my life with everything I've got. You're damned right I'm mad. Nature's trying to say our time is up. Bite my ass, nature, you coward. I'm not done yet. Give me your best shot, turkey. Keep that in mind. Curmudgeons aren't being cranky as a way of saying, oh, the world is different now and it scares me. They're saying to literally everyone all the time, come at me, bro. My name's fucking Jack, by the way. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to watch an even angrier old man explain why the youth is wrong about everything, be sure to check out Dirty Grandpa, starring Hollywood icon Robert De Niro and insolent pretty boy Zac Efron in theaters everywhere, January 22nd. Click here to see the latest trailer. Oh, finally, feel free to let me know what your favorite candy is in the comments, and I'll feel even freer to ignore you because your taste in everything is dog shit.